G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zoboodle and welcome to a brand new game that only just came out today. Welcome to Tribe Primitive Builder. This is a game that I've had my eye on for a little while because well, if you know nothing about me, this is your first time meeting me, then well, g'day, copper hell I are. But I just love building in games, building anything, building bases, contraptions, traps, you name it, I want to build it. And that seems to be what this game, judging by the trailers and stuff, that seems to be what this game is all about. I haven't played a lick of this game so far, so we're going to experience it together for the first time and dive right into a brand new game. It looks really cool though. I'm really excited to see how this is going to go as a cheeky deeky first look. The Isle of the Banished. The unfortunate end of my journey. You'd think that I'm the leader of this quest. Or at the very least, the leader's helper. No. All my life I thought they were my brothers. But now they will see to my banishment. Fools. They say I deserve this, but they have not had to live with the vision of our doom. Since I was a boy, I constantly played with sticks. I saw their potential and ways to connect them that others thought impossible. The gods were good to me, so our village grew. The elders told me I had a gift, but the village was not enough. I was convinced that the gods expected more from me. Haunted by the vision of doom, I decided to build an altar that reached the sky. I thought that would appease them, but gods had different plans for me. They split the sky in two and consumed all my work. I was banished for offending them. Me, the only one who knew the truth. Only upon seeing the flaming rocks on the Isle of the Banished of Close, the truth revealed itself to me. The gods wanted me to end up here. Alright. Well, uh, turns out building a giant lightning rod uh, in a stormy sky, not a great idea, but old mate is apparently, what, like the building prodigy of his island? who got properly banished, but all right, that's all fine. Giving me massive vibes of um, Survival Fountain of Youth that I was playing not long ago. Definitely remind me of that, but so far, looking very pretty. Can you... <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race, like there's no hairs around anywhere. Definitely taking my sweet ass time getting out of the water. Oh, good day, Pyramid Head, good to see ya. Oh, he's got a knife, great. I've got a starting quest. I need to go and talk to the chieftain of the island. Ooh, it's, it's a little bit gooey. I need to fix up like uh, sensitivities, I think, a little bit, but nice aqua turquoise water, some sheer cliffs. I mean, this is all right. This is all right. I mean, if you're going to get banished, where else would you rather be? Are you... Ooh, you, you got your... Oh, you nailed it. Look at you go. Look at you. I'm going to call you Tom Hanks. I've seen this movie before. Well, the game's passing the first test. It is absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't take much to impress me these days, but you give me some shiny set pieces and I'm all about it. Get a odd stuff. How are you? Yeah, that nah, good chat. Lovely to be here too. So I assume it's going to be like a little bit like an introduction. Oh, into the game. I don't, I don't have a knife to harvest yet. I thought I was going to have to break it down. Ooh, yeah, I assume it's going to be like an introduction into the game to figure out why I'm building stuff. There's lava flows and shit. Can I utilize this in my house? Can I have a lava floor? I just, I just want to build a mansion in the cave. Is this the chieftain? You've got an exclamation mark, so I reckon probably so. G'day, Cobra. What's news? What's the good word? It's going to be a lot of reading for me because I can't just listen to you. Uh, <laughs> all right, please give me all the exposition I need. Go drink some water, great idea. I have possibly the best quest I've ever seen in any survival game. I need to go and take a drink and then have a cheeky nap. What what better way to survive on an island? Ooh, that's cool. Like, ooh, I like the look at that. That design's really cool, but need to have a cheeky little slurp. Uh, yep. There's a, a cut scene for drinking? Does this happen every time or is this a spec? Oh, okay. I guess this is a special one. I'm talking to Mufasa. Wait, am I surprised to see my own mask? I would have, I would have thought I probably knew when I slapped on my nose earlier today. I've had a, I've had a drink. I just need to go have a nap now. But is there? I mean, it gave me the quest before to make a campfire. Fish. Common food source needs to be baked to be edible. Do I, ha I have some fish? 
We've got an altar. Oh, I can like pray to the stars. Nice. My tribe. <gasps> I can like get all, I can get some friends. There's four people living here and four sleeping places. Oh, I can expand so much. Oh my goodness. Speaking of expansion, look how big the map is. Oh, <laughs> right. There's a lot of potential here. I've only just got here and I'm ransacking the joint. I'm <laughs> grabbing all their herbs out of their garden. I'm ruining their veggie patch. I'm a rabbit wearing a blue jacket. Take you as well. All the herbs and spices. We'll make some chicken. Can I grab you too? Yellow grass. Just take everything. Just take <laughs> take absolutely everything and make myself a knife and an axe. Is there... Is that where you take me? Is it like a workbench that I can craft that? Because there's no crafting option through my pockets. That was like a workbench to me. You. Crude knife. I can make some incense and a crude axe. Blue stone. Vine. And a branch. Okay, I need to get some stones first to make the knife. Use the knife to get the vines. Blue stone. Ah, it's stones and a blue. Nice and easy. I'm getting a bit peckish. Oi. Knackers, is there, like, is there an oven? Is there a campfire around here somewhere? No, not the branches, you pelican. I want to talk to old mate. No? Nah. No, nah, nothing? All right, great chat. Thank you. <laughs> I love that we could do this together. Let's do this again sometime. I'm going to take the blue stones with me. I do like that they're so bright and vibrant, so at least even someone like me can find them. I have a lot of trouble finding pebbles in survival games. Oh, that's the sky. There's coconuts around, I think. I just need... Wait, can I, like, can I make my own campfire? I have some fish on me, but I can't eat it. Apparently, old man hasn't heard of sushi. I, I really hope I can, because I'm getting... Oh, no! No, oh, I'm in a drinking pond! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! That's a big faux pas. Well, I might starve to death, but so be it. Can I stab? There you go. Carve some vines off the roof. I like how this is the, this is where these people live, and I've just come in. I've washed up on the shore four minutes ago, and immediately you just start a tear on the place to shreds. Oh, well. <laughs> I'd feel a little bit bad about it, but I need to get my tools up and going. I promise I'll pay you back. Don't worry about that. Up, up we go. Over the top. Craft up my crude axe. Craft you. Might have got myself a spear as well. Oh, and a hammer? Why not? Why not treat yourself? Make everything. I assume a hammer is needed for building, and I just want to build. It's getting darker. I think the sun is setting. All right, I need to talk to you again. So you've crafted yourself some mighty tools. I wouldn't call them mighty, but it wouldn't be the first time someone's overestimated me. Good. Now it's time you build a hut. There we go. I need my men well rested. Fire, I find them more useful that way. Best find a place beneath the sunlight. All right. Can do. Uh, you need wood. Wait, you need wood. Wood and bamboo. Search outside. Follow the path. Should be easy enough. Just look to your right and be vigilant. I mean, it's about to be night time. Can I have a torch or something too? It's getting very dark. I can see a fire. Although it looks, looks a little bit more like a bonfire than a campfire. I just need something to cook up my tuna steaks. Are you, are, are you going to be cookable? I mean, geez, you're a whopper great campfire. You are a campfire. Nice, Gary. Food rations. Craft three of you, please. Get your sizzling and get your ready. Numb. All right, you. I need to eat. How do I... Do I right-click? Eat. There you go. Eat another one. Eat a third one. Oh, happy days. Mate, look at this. This is a paradise. If this is getting banished, sign me up. I had a little snooze, and it's now morning time. I'm looking bloody fabulous out here. Also had an extra little slurp, and that little, like, Mufasa animation doesn't happen every time, which is good. Also good is it seems that most of the things are harvestable. It's like those games, you know, where, like, you need this material, and you can see it on the ground. You need a stone, and there's a stone on the ground, but you're not allowed to have it. Uh, or, like, sticks and, uh, or reeds and stuff like that. Most of the stuff seems to be grabbable. Get some big legs out of you. It does say I can grab some resources out of a storage cave. Ooh, lots of room to build into, though, as well. Look at it. Look, look at all the room for activities. It's like I've got bunk beds. Is this the storage cave? Uh, uh, oh, okay. There's a lot of storage in this cave. Fair enough, then. Although, a bit of a skylight. Need to be able to see. What have you got? Oh, okay, here we go. Can I shift click? I can. I got wood, got bamboo, vines, grass, everything a grown boy needs to make himself a house. Is there... Oh, okay, so like it's just I searched the whole cave by searching the thing at the, at the front. 
All right, that's fun. That's all good. Thank you very much. I've got all the things I wanted. Let's go find somewhere nice and flat and wonderful in the sunshine to start building my stuff. Although, I mean, like right here? No, actually, where, where was I? Where was, oh, is it? What are you? It's a bunny. Wait, wait, I need, I need food. Wait, stop, stop. Oh, I nailed him. I absolutely nailed him on the hop on the way through. I don't think I'll ever get that lucky again. Try again. Nah, not even close. Not even close. I stunned Flopsy. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Um, can I, can I live here? Look at this. How could you not want to live here? Or well, step one of any good effort to survive. You've got to have shelter. You've got to have water. And you've got to have food. And, oh my goodness. <laughs> I've got everything I need right here. All right. Well, this is going to be... Where I'm going to build, I think someone's... Oh, it's here. Oh, it was here two seconds ago. Remember, I was like, oh, look at this wonderful place. This would be a great place to build a house. Well, it's a great bloody place to build a house. All right, sick as dicks. I'll check the other side just nice and quickly, though, in case there's a better view over there. Got everything I need. I've got materials. i got snacks. i got fluids. Happy bloody days. I ventured out a little bit. I've definitely moved away from the volcano where all of my friends were staying. If they even are my friends, actually. There's a path going through the plains out here, though. And something running around in the fields. There's, oh, okay, there's some water over there. I'm just kind of like, ah, another Flopsy. Sorry, it's not Monty Python, though, so it hasn't murdered me yet. I reckon somewhere up here. It's close to the water. It's up on the high ground, so at least you get a nice kind of view around the shop. Oh, could this, this little plateau right here, Yep, this is it. This is my new tribe. This is where me and all my friends are going to live, and it's going to be wonderful. Can I raid you? I can. For a crude knife, another spear, and some more wood. Can I... You're kind of in the way, though. Can Can I break you down? N no. So I'm just going to live with the litter from someone else? Rude. Well, this game is called Primitive Builder for a reason, so let's get building. Uh, Pick the workshop. Press Q. Q. Food. Oh, I'm going to make myself some privacy. That definitely comes later. Various production. I assume production. Gatherer's heart, shaman's heart, woodcutter's heart, potter's heart, and stonecutter's heart. So there's a there's a lot to build. There's a lot to build, and I'm here for it. The, oh, jeez, a ginormous. The workshop. Building spirit will turn blue when it's possible to build, and the ground is flat enough. So that's why it's like all these massive flat areas to build on because you have all these things to build. Remember like, was it in Wild West Dynasty? I think it was, where you had to build like your town, but the ground was uneven and like way too uneven for what the buildings wanted. You couldn't build anywhere. That uh, that was a time. Uh, scroll to change build rotation, confirm build position and Q to cancel. Fair enough. Well, I mean, I want to get rid of that somehow. I hope there's a way to get rid of you, but I reckon just like in here, under the shade of the plum trees and gum trees. There you go. Don't hit it with your axe, you pelican. All right. So now I just need to finish the building. Oh, yes. I can see myself losing so much time in this game. You give me fun building and I will live here. Oh, it's good. I like that it kind of comes in stages too. And you've got to actually go to the parts where you need to build stuff. You can't hold E and just walk around, which is a bit, uh, a bit more easier. All the way down. I missed one. You. And then these ones too. Nice. There goes some more bamboo. You need... <laughs> Look, I've ransacked most of the island for building materials, so you shouldn't have too much of a problem here. Get some shelter. What do you need now? Big leaves on the front. Yellow grass at the top. There you go. And just... Oh, another entrance at the back. Didn't realize that. Back entrances are always fun, but there's a time and a place for that. You, you, and you. Are we done? My new workshop. Look at it. Look at it. Look at what I have created. Look at what my hands have built. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Use the hammer to recover some resources from ruins or the buildings that you've constructed. Hit the structure with the hammer three times to confirm the destruction. Before destroying, empty the chest and unassign the workers. Fair whackers knackers. I mean, that looks really cool. Speaking of whacker and a knackerin. You, you've already been looted, so you're definitely fine. One, two, three. I mean, I, I thought I thought that was going to confirm deconstruction, but it's going to keep on wailing. Wailing like at Smithers. There you go. There you go. It's freed up so much space. There's coils of rope everywhere. 
Nice. So you have thought of everything. Look how good you look, though. I'm so, I'm so impressed. What a unique design as well. I think that's what's really like getting me kind of flabbergasted about. Like that looks like nothing I've ever built in any game ever before. What a cool idea. So I've got some storage in here now, which is good. Meat, fish, what are you? Somewhere to have a cheeky snooze. All right, got myself a little mobile on top of my face as well. Something to play with and bat at like I'm a baby kitten. And that's my crafting table. Oh, I've got to go back and talk to the elder. Dude, he's so far away. He's so can't he come to me? Oh, I, I know I'm young and sprightly and old mate's cruising about with a walking stick, but come on. You could have followed me. You said so far to run. Oh, there's no use sucking about it. It is a mild amount of exercise, which is basically my nemesis, but you just got to get it done. Uh, I'm not particularly thirsty. I'm a little bit hungry. Probably even worth a shout going back to that campfire and cooking up some extra steaks for me. Any more fishies? Any fishies at all? Nope, that's not a fishy. That's a rock. Fishes generally move. Maybe look for that instead. There you are. G'day, copper. How are you? I've come all this way just to talk to you again. I do have a compass, and it's marked my little workshop on my compass as well, so I can at least find my way home. Okay, you. Can you please give me the pat on the back I think I deserve? Oh, God. <laughs> Suddenly, it was right up in me gills. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a problem. Oh, Krakatoa's come to find us. Um, <laughs> the mountain has grown angry with us, which the gods disapprove of our ways. We must make a sacrifice. I mean, look, I'm not a very decisive boy, but I mean, I've got two working legs and you kind of don't. Can I throw you in the volcano like your Melman and Madagascar? I'll do anything to appease the gods and hopefully get Gloria. She's thick. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, no, nah, okay. There's a, a dedicated thing. It's not just picking some random guy out of your tribe and throwing him into a volcano. We're more civilized than that. Open the altar panel. Pick a ritual. All right. Well, volcano be mad. Uh, oh. That's not, oh, that's my, it is. Uh, so I need to pick something to pick a ritual. Requires one incense. I can make that at my craft table. That's fine. Oh, so like a talisman, bamboo totem. Is there, oh, I can research a hoe. <laughs> I don't think I have the money for that right now. I left my wallet on my other island. All right, so it seems I can only do the first one. So, all right, you, what do you need? I need herbs, I need yellow grass. I have all that. Is there a... Is there a workshop or like a workbench I can use just here? Or I have to go all the way back home again? While well, I'm thinking about it though, quickly whip up all of my fishies. Food rations, thank you. I'm getting a little bit peckish, so good time to do it. Once you're done, I'll cook up the other food I have. I'm just making fish. I'm just making fish. Dude, the game's gorgeous, survival's fun, and it's I'm having a good time. Well, what could you want? It's getting dark again, but there's no workbenches around the campfire storage cave area. Gonna just truck back up the river again, go back to my home. Under the cool looking uh, Can I can I can someone make me like a um a pina colada or something? Hopefully it starts raining soon. I just wanna hang out under one of these overcrops and just admire the scenery a bit. Look at this, look at this. I need to go on a holiday. That's what this is telling me. Made it back to my home, my hastily constructed home, but still, oh, there's a giant hole in the ceiling. Oh, but look at the stars though. No light pollution out here, that's for damn sure. But if it starts drizzling, we're all gonna get very bloody soggy. You, incense, craft up one of you. Now, what do I have to do with you? Go to the alt. Oh, go to the altar. It's so far away. I built my house in a nice spot on the other side of the world, apparently. All right, I'll have a sleep. I'll come back in the morning. Oh, so far to go. I hate exercise. Ah, well, good. I was just talking about how I hope it doesn't rain at all because my entire, oh, my entire house, my little hut over there is going to get very bloody soggy. And I guess it's day two because now it's raining. I've got a long way to go. I've got to trot through the mud to get out to the ritual cave as well. Is this a path? That looks good enough for me. Are you, are you going to be like, is this going to be our whole thing? I wanted to throw old mate in the volcano. This is way less fun. Well, that's probably what all these things are, isn't it? Those look like incenses. The, I, I did craft one. Yeah, you. I mean, mine's a bit fresher than these ones, but uh, is that what all these are? 
more campfires down here. This, someone's someone's got terrible bush safety. You can't leave flaming campfires like this unattended. That's how you burn down half a continent. This looks like the ritual. Oh, the ritual tree tripped over her roots. So you. There's a little alien out the front. Here you go. He is an incense. All right, I was just talking about bushfires and I lit a giant tree on fire. Uh, this potentially isn't <laughs> the greatest of ideas. Are the Spanish coming? Should I be worried about that? Is that uh oh. Am I seeing the future? Another volcanic eruption. And the flying Dutchman. All right. Inform the owner about my vision. Oi! Knackers! We gotta seal the cave and protect El Dorado! Mate, mate, you'll never guess what I just saw. The Black Pearl, the ghost ship is gonna come attack us. Uh, if you found any gold pendants anywhere, you probably need to return them to a chest with a little, like, dribble of blood as well. I have performed the ritual. I uh, did what you asked. I saw something. At last, the gods have chosen. You might. Oh. <laughs> I have read that as something being very, very ominous, but I guess not. We don't have time to tread lightly. You must save our fellow exiles. You must save our tribe. Okay. It is urgent then. I did misunderstand that. So I guess the volcano. I mean, <laughs> I suppose burning some incense wouldn't calm a volcano, but. So basically, Volcano's real pissed off and going to destroy the entire island. So my goal as the savior of, of the tribe, apparently, is to recruit enough tribes people to get production up, to sustain a small village, to build a giant boat like I'm Noah and get everyone off the island to safety. So that's, that's my predicament I have found myself in. Given I woke up in the shallows earlier, or yesterday morning, <laughs> it's been a bit of a day. That's my hut just up the hill over there. I need to build a fisherman's hut, which I assume needs to be like next to the river somewhere. This is just down a nice gentle incline from where I'm going to be living. So, production. Fe no? Uh, you? Food. Hunter's hut, fisher's hut. Fisher's hut, you go there. Now that would want it to be on like level ground, didn't it? So do I have to build like next to the river? Or does it have to be up on the level ground up where I'm living? I can just, I can just build a smack bang in the river? That's, that's very close to the fishing production. What about there? That's flat enough, surely. No? Is it, is it too rocky? Is it not pretty enough? Is its foundations too broken? I can't, mm, I don't want to have to build you so far away, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. What about here? If I get rid of like all the plants, will you work? No, I've given up trying to find a good place for it because down the bottom there, resource proximity, I want to put this as close to the fishies as I possibly can. 100%, oh, oh, 100% proximity. <laughs> I'm going to dam the river like I'm a freaking beaver. Uh, where, yeah, oh, easy, easy. You're so close. I saw your flash blue for a moment. If I just like, there you go. I was going to just mash click, eventually it'll work. Chuck all of you in. Oh, wait, the river can still flow. Look at that. You can fish from bed. Perfect. I finally run out of materials. I don't have any yellow grass. Uh, over there. There's some on top of the cliff. Is there like, is there different materials in different biomes? Like going out to the plains will get me more yellow grass. We're staying in like the tropics over here. I like, can't scamper up the cliff because I'm not a mountain goat. Will uh, get me more like big leaves and bamboo and stuff. Uh, that seems to make sense in my head, but that's, that's no guarantee at all. Lots of bamboo over there. That's what I needed. Give me all of you. I've got a fishing hut to build. Should have most of everything that I need just to finish off this building. Chuck a roof up the top. Jeez, we wouldn't want anything to get, wood, <laughs> get wet, would we? Given that I'm living inside a river. Cop that. Cop that. And you and you. Are we done? Finish all phases of building. I'm missing... I'm missing one. Oh, sneaky deaky. Bamboo totem. There you go. Up and going. So I need to go back and talk to the elder again. How do I recruit a fisherman? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Dude, I've built this guy. <laughs> this is a sick little place to live. I'm so generous with my property. All right, so I've got to put torches in the totem. More torches means more workmen. Gotcha. Workers need to eat. I'll put some food in there too. And tools. All right, so I have... I mean, you can have both. I've got a couple of spears, actually. You can have both of my spears. Where do I get a torch from? Take five food rations. I've got 12, so we're good. I can feed a village at this rate. So how do I... How do I put... Oh, here you go. Here's a spear. 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 Done. Switch production assigned to... 
No, uh, can you just like hold on to stuff for me, I suppose? Final tribesman form. Workers, get one of you going. Can I give you a second spirit, get a second worker in? So there's one torch. What if I get a second? Second? Two torches. Can I give you an extra spear? I can. Here's some more food. I don't want to give you all the food, though. I still need to eat occasionally. Hang on. There we go. We've already got... Wait, aren't you the... Aren't you the elder that I was talking to? Or your oldest rocking, like, the, the dinosaur shoulder pads? <laughs> it's like it's the freaking 70s. Shoulder pads out of this world and pyramid head faces. Okay, that's fine. Well, if you're working away, I can take the fish and I can go cook that and give myself some more rations. There we go. You're self-sustaining. I have to come back to the ritual tree because I need to make myself a, like, a cook's hut. I really like this. It's like... It's like I'm playing uh, City Skylines, but as a survivor. Like, I've played a lot of survival games in my time, but doing something different, like having a tribe and, like, getting food and then cooks and then workers and stuff. So rather than just, like, a lone survival thing, I'm actually working with, like, a more resources, a bigger township. It's a cool little take on it, and I quite like it. No visions this time. I've unlocked a cooker's hut, though. Cooker's hut was what was it actually called? Hunters, a cook's hut. I need wood, bamboo, and vines. Got all of that. I probably could make that in the river next to my fishes, but nah, it's fine. Got that whole plateau to fill up. Might as well get building. It's a little too wet and dreary and a little too night time for me, so I'm going to have a little snooze through till... Let's just go to like 7 a.m. That should do us. That should do us fine. All the way through. Hopefully a nice sunny day. Yeah, look at that. The clouds are part of like... Oh, oh, <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I have a glorious little rainbow framing a volcanic eruption. Isn't that just like the yin and yang of peace and destruction right there? I'm going to look away from it before I get too sad. You, uh, I need to make my, oh, I can make a sleep hut as well. I mean, actually, actually the thing, I went to sleep. I assume my fisherman was still hard, uh, hard at work getting myself some more snacks. You can go there and I also need to make... Food, the cooker's hut. You can go just behind the sleeping hut so we can sleep with delicious smells. You can go there. Oh, now our town's coming together. I need some bamboo for my construction. And I tell you, it's really satisfying. Just walk up with an axe and go, Wha-pa! and it shatters into a thousand little pieces. I mean, then you gotta go walk around and go pick them all up, all the nice long tubes like you're a hungry, hungry panda bear. But even so, just watching it all fall apart around me is it's, it's weirdly satisfying. So look how cool this looks. I want to know where they got the ideas for these designs from. Are these like based on like a real world example or is this just something they've concocted in their brain goo? Because like that looks sick. What an, I like, what an idea for a chimney in like the cooking hut to have this kind of spiral design. That looks awesome. I, I'm having way too much fun. I'm having way too much fun just ogling what you're putting down for me. Chuck all the reeds on you as well. And are we done? No, nope, not quite. I might, what, what, oh, just you at the very tippy top. Take that one. You need the totem at the front and all your cooking utensils. Right, you, what do you actually need? I've got that going. You need a knife. This is a knife. That's not a spoon. You can cop that one. I've run out of rations because old mate down the road has eaten it all. All right, hang on. In fact, I'll go I'll go see the fishies and see what's cracking. Look at that, though. Look how freaking cool that is. I'm running a bit low on wood as well. And as much as I don't want to Easter Island my... Oh, that's cool. As much as I don't want to Easter Island my island, it actually, like, chops away where you're aiming. I mean, what are you doing, Josh? This isn't how you break... You cut down a tree. Cut through you. That's... I, it, I, it's like the forest, you know, like little itty bits come out of it and actually breaks apart properly. That's not quite how physics works, but okay. S what? I was not expecting it to work like that, but I'm a big fan of it. Cut through you as well. Give me some extra planks. Boop. That was a big boy. Give me all of you. That's sick. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. This game has so much more to it than I honestly expected. G'day, Fisheroo. How you doing? How's the catch going today? I'm here to pick up the surplus. Not the surplus, actually. I'm here to pick up your hard work. What have you got for me? You've got 25 fishies. Thank you. 
I see they're going... Oh. Can I... Is there a way to take half? Here we go. Split with control. You can take those ones back. That's all yours. I'll take these. Because if I can get a cook cooking at the town, I don't need to go and find my own campfire. I can just have it next door. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go to the totem. Here is your snacks. I would like someone to come and work here, please. I now... Ooh, no, okay, I've got one more idle tribesman. I think only one cook is probably enough. I mean, it's like, you know, you're usually halving the efficiency rates between production from raw resources down, so you can... Well, not halving, you're doubling the efficiency, rather. Does that make sense? I don't think it did. But either way, one cook should be enough. You're now cooking up three steaky boys out of you. There's a bunch of food for you, though. Will you automatically go and get the fish from the fishes? Or do I have to be a courier and run it back and forth? Gonna be a... <laughs> it's like I'm working in Tropical all of a sudden. Well, while old mate's cooking away in there, I'm gonna finish building the sleeping hut. Look at you. Look at that. That's a, that is a roaring fire. You're definitely not doing things by halves in there. The idea of like medium heat and a slow boil never occurred to you. It is flash fry and char immediately. Put up the rest of you. The nice little spirally uh, roof as well. Uh, a couple more. And then it should... Yeah, there you go. Should just be all the grass. This is a this is an involved process for a nap. The nap shack is done. There's three little places for people to sleep. I've got my own one in my workbench. How are we looking? Have you got any snacks for me yet? I'm getting a little bit peckish. You've got... Oh, so you just craft it straight into the into your own food? You're just crafting your own snacks like you're making yourself some crepes. Can I can I can I pitch some, please? I would like I would like some food. <laughs> you can't just have it all to your own. Split the stack. You can have those ones back again. There you go. So I have something to nibble on. I gotta feed the fishermen. You can't be greedy here. Gotta chat to the elder again. What is happening, old mate? What brings you to me, fellow exile? I took care of the food. Good. Now, just remember the tribe needs to eat. I will watch them closely so they don't eat more than one ration a day. Cheers for that, knackers. But you need to bring food so the tribe focuses on work and doesn't start to wander. Okay, well, I got them food. One more thing, the Exile. As the tribe grows, you cannot carry all the resources yourself. Can I, can I make teamsters? Indeed, I think it's time that you appoint our first carrier. You can use the village uh, storage under the bell fires. But I... Okay, how will the carriers know? No, no, uh, nowhere to and from it should bring the resources. You must give them clear instructions, assign them directly to the storage. The carriers should take it from there. Okay, so I can have teams to run things around, so I'm not doing nothing but running back and forth. So I just have to assign the storage that each place is using to the village storage. So like then the, the fish will catch fish, chuck it in, the carrier will chuck that in the storage, and the same carrier will take the fish from the storage to the cook to make the food. But I can also put like their tools, like the knives and the spears in them, so they're always stocked. Uh, can I do this through the tribe panel? I can. Nice tribe. So you... Village storage, village storage. How do I get a carrier then? Storages, carriers, here we go. Boop. Get you rocking and rolling, consumption, that's all fine. Marketplace, none, we can build a market. Enjoy. This, this is, you know what actually, this, oh, what was the game, it was Banished? Remember Banished, like the town building games? Like a first person Banished on a tropical island. This is so many games that I enjoy, all pushed into one little nugget of love. I've assigned all of my tribesmen to do various tasks. So I got, oh, g'day knackers, I've got to talk to the scouts. Old mate coconut face over here. Hello, fresh meat. Well, straight to the point. Let's buy me dinner first. I hear you're a new builder. Good, I cannot even tie a knot, uh, but my eyes are hawk-like. To the slits and a nut. I'm not sure what hawks you've been talking to. Moments ago, I saw a tired man at the mouth of the river. Well, go free him then. Find him, offer him our help, and I'll search for others. We need good workers. So, great. So what? You just go and see things and make other people do the hard yakka? You're a plum, mate. You're not even worthy of a pie. Hold on, mate. Hold on, copper. I got gotcha. you. You're all good. You're all fine. Can't believe old mate saw you tied up and abandoned like this and just wandered off and laughed in your face. You've got a wooden panel mask just like mine. Charisman, help me. I have become. I will. No time. I will come back. Be no better than the scout if I did that. I saved you. Not for free. Uh, you may have the chance with our tribe, but only if you're willing to work hard. Find our elder. 
in the cave by the village. Aren't I the elder of my own tribe at this point? Like, I'm doing all the hard work. Old mates just wander around, basking in the warmth of the fire. The fishermen have broken their spears, so there you go. There's a fresh spear for you. Is that going to get you working again? It will. So you can actually stack a whole lot into there. I might just go to the workbench and make... Like a thousand. Just make like a thousand spears and a thousand knives and just make sure that these guys are all nice and supplied for as long as they need. Old mate, don't do it. Don't do it. You don't have to jump off the edge. It's fine. We're all good. I found the guy. I did help the tired man. He, yes, he's one of us now. He's into some freaky shit, but that's fine. We'll look past that. Tribe grows indeed. I can look for others on my patrol. Find me if you need new recruits. Meanwhile, the elder is looking for you. Don't make him wait. Can I just tell you to go... Immediately? No, I gotta go talk to the elder first. <laughs> Fine. Fine. So when I talk to the scout to go and find myself some new recruits, he just tells me where he's seen a bonfire for me to go and investigate it myself. Great. All right. So down in the next bay, just up the up the bluff from where I currently am, I need to go make an uh, a sacrifice at the altar to get the gift of skill to build myself a gatherer's heart. We're really starting to get into it now. I like it though. I like that each thing I build, there's a reason to build it. But I assume at some point, it's going to get pretty hard to feed all of my tribesmen. And things are going to get a bit wild. I need to get down to the offering tree down there. And so far, everything I've jumped off hasn't given me any fall damage. So, what could go wrong? All right. <laughs> I took a bee stick. A bee stick of fall damage by falling like what a good like 100 meters that's an obscene amount of distance to fall to barely even stub your tone take that take that i need to unlock my gift of was it gift of skill whatever it was gift of skill is done all right yeah i'll place the things i can now build a gatherer's hut and increase the population to eight it's starting to like actually get into the game now though where i'm looking like handheld and showing like this is what you do then this thing and that thing it's like Go do this at some point, but go and find all the materials first. I'm not going to tell you how to do it, which I like. We're getting into the game proper now. I'll quickly just run back to the storage cave because I do have bulk spears and bulk knives for both the cook and the fisherman. Here you go. You can take all of that, please. All of that off me. And those ones too. I don't really need a spear. I do. I probably need a knife on me, actually, for harvesting vines and whatnot. I... Yeah, that one. That's the one that's like mostly already cooked. You're fine. You can have that one too. Cheeky little snack. Why not? Nom, nom, nom. All right. Hope the team are doing their job because there's lots of stuff in there for them now. I can see the bonfire that old mate was talking about. I do want to go and quickly make some friends. Another little lagoon out here. Dude, this is an equally as nice place to live. I don't feel like I can offer these guys much. I've got to try and see if I can recruit them to come and be my gatherers. G'day, everyone. How are you? I can use your campfire, but I'm more inclined to just have a chat to you. What do you want, stranger? Join us. Uh, we've formed a village near you. You can join us if you're willing to work for your share. Speak to the elder. He awaits new recruits in the cave. I probably could have given him a bit more information than just that. Thought I would starve here. Nah, come on. I gotcha. I even have a personal chef. You'll be fine. So with those new recruits, I actually don't have enough beds for all of them. I've got, well, I've got a space for seven and I've got eight people now. So, okay, we've got to start expanding a little bit. Uh, private, we're going to go sleep hut. Can I, not enough resources for you. I need, I need one more bamboo. I'm going to need a sleep hut and I'm going to need a gatherer's hut as well, which was not in that one. Was it in you? Toolmaker. I can make a toolmaker's hut. That's sick. Gatherer's hut. Oh, that's a fucking ginormous thing as well. I'm going to put you on this side somewhere. Probably just like up on the top like you. Anywhere. It's raining and pouring. There you go. I can't find a place to put you. Spin you around. There you go. There you go. This is going to be like the main street down the middle here. Lovely. All right, well, look, that's going to take a bit of a time to build because I need a lot more resources to make it because you're freaking ginormous. And I need another sleeping hut as well. So things are really kicking on very quickly. I'm going to have to leave this episode here, though. I've already recorded longer than I thought I was going to. I'm sorry, Charlie Murphy. I was having too much fun. But this is, um, this is a very interesting take on a survival game that I'm not really used to. It's, it's definitely a different spin on things. I mean, you may have played a game that's similar to this in the past, but I haven't. And I really like the tribe mechanics combined with the survival mechanics. It's a, it's it's actually tickled me quite pink. But I might have to come back and play some more. I'm not sure if I'll, I might have to come back and play some more 
in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.